Hi everyone, welcome back to Infernium. So we just got through getting the flashlight and we're now going to head to the castle. You could uh, go on and I think get one or maybe even two. I think it's just one harvest finger. But that ritual I've never been able to complete the way you're supposed to. So it's best to go to the castle because you can get a longer dash jump that allows you to bypass the ritual and get the finger. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm actually dreading the castle. Not really the castle itself, it's after the castle you get to the desert area and there's one ritual that I'm really dreading. And I could have swore I saved back over here in the memorandum, but obviously I didn't. And there's no fast travel. So you just have to walk from one area to the next. Also a thing, uh, I was watching another ga uh, gamer called Jess for Life, who has played this, and she actually spoke a little bit with the developer, and uh, these hands are actually female hands, which I had already suspected because they looked feminish, I guess, but it's never really stated. I mean, it could be a man's hands too, but... I always kind of figured we were playing as a woman. See, and then there's one out there. It's a blue cloak just standing out there for no reason. I've gone over there and explored, and there ain't nothing over there. So and this is the upside down castle. See, and this is the map of the memorandum. That way you can pause it if you want to look at it. The castle. Memorandum. Here's the map of the castle. All right. All right. <clears throat> yeah, and then if you've gone through and read the lore, these people that came here to map this area, um, basically they had a big falling out. I think the majority of them were killed. And I think one of the women and the group killed the others. And then unalived herself. And you're basically playing as her. This is her punishment. Now we don't have the triangle yet. That's something we'll be able to get later on. But yeah, it's never really stated. See, and there's like writing right here. But there's a cloak 
right down here. There's more text and light. So you'd have to lure him out and either lose track of him or get rid of him completely in order to get to this text down here. And it could be a pain in the butt to get to all the text. That's why it's just easier to go online and read the full story. But yeah, basically they were exploring Infernium. Uh, okay, so this is a ritual. So you have to light these up and just change numbers. There's Roman numerals. So we have a 9 over there, a 5 over here. And this is easy because there's no enemy here, but and all the other rituals, there are gonna be enemies. So five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you come to this middle thing to open it up. But yeah, these group of people, these kids, were exploring Infernium, and eventually, ooh, and this right here is a trap. There's some more of the story. See, it's so hard to get to read it. Wish you could just click on it and a window popped up. But if you open this door, that cloak will come get you. So we're just going to leave that closed. But yeah, these college students, they were basically exploring Infernium. Several of them wanted to go public. Um, and let the world know what was going on and what they found and then the others didn't uh, I think there was one woman who did it didn't want to do it did not want to go forward and so basically she took care of the others in order to keep the secret of inferno and something happened to her or she unalived herself something like that Now I'm going to go through here. Um, there it is. And save real quick for our, Oh. Crap, I need one finger. Okay, there's one right over here. See, now you would not be able to go up this if you came to the castle first because you need the flashlight to get rid of this barrier. But because we already went down, we can now open up this shortcut. And you can actually bypass a ritual. A little mini ritual you gotta do. But I'm actually gonna do the ritual. So you can go up there. But I'm going to go back here. Hope it doesn't screw me over by doing this. Let's get this. Where does this take me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know exactly. There's a fountain. See, and there's more of the story. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done if I was in these kids' positions. And these two. Because, I mean, if you go public with this knowledge... Most people are going to think you're crazy. And then eventually the government or someone's going to, you know, figure out you're actually telling the truth. And then they're going to want to keep the secret. And then they're going to take care of you. So I think what I would do is if I was these kids, I would map it out. I would write everything down. And then I would have everything released after my passing. After I've died of old age. Okay, so you can avoid this whole ritual we're about to do because we have the flashlight, but I'm actually going to go through it. Yep, there's the cloak. Alright. 
looking for numbers. Numbers five. There's a five. Okay, there's plenty of five here. One, two, zero. Okay. Six. Okay. Alright. This is a five. Five, five, five. Okay, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is a six. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was close. That was a lot closer than I was wanting. Okay, come on. Alright. Ooh, okay, one more. That is six. What? What? That was wrong? Oh my god, okay. Okay, this is bad. This is bad, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So the other one needs to be a five. Oh. Okay. This one needs to be a five. Okay. All right. Come on. Well, this is six. That has to be a five. Unless I've just messed up badly. There's a five. What? Oh, oh my god. What if I messed up? Okay. I've made a bad mistake. Okay, that's a five. Oh. Oh. Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? That's a six. Okay, that's a six. I swear, they're usually not this bad. What have I done? Okay, let's go up here. Okay, come back over here. What have I done? Okay, that's a five. That's a six. Okay. Oh my God, okay. Don't tell me this game is bugged. 
Okay, let's do a six there. And do a five here. And zero, one, two. Oh my god, come on. Oh damn, I'm so confused where I'm at. Ooh, ooh, okay. See, if you can just get you a path, get you a pattern, it's not so bad, but when you're trying to mess up that pattern, it just doesn't work. Okay. It has to be bugged. This is not making any sense to me. Okay. Okay. Let's reevaluate our situation. This is a five. This has to be bugged right here. Okay. Alright. That, that has to be bugged. It has to be like a 7 or an 8. That number. Alright. At least this will give me an opportunity to show y'all something. So when you die, you go to this holding place, I guess. If all the light goes out and you lose all your lives, this door opens up. And then that leads you to two fountains, a white fountain and a black fountain. And it gives you two different endings of the game. You, you do not want those doors to open up. You will get the bad ending instead of the good ending. So if you've ever gotten to the point where you have no more lives left you can come down here yeah yeah see and in here it's just one of these light creatures they're blue you can actually get rid of them with the flashlight so and you can actually go in there, you can get some light. Later on we'll get the triangle and there's some more light in here. That you can then put into a fountain down here to get more lives. So you come in here, it's just mirror image basically. Wait, what? Okay, I went through this the wrong way. Because you can only go in one direction around this, and I went the wrong way. I thought you went that way, but I guess you go this way. There we go. I was wondering where the ice was at. And this is so beautiful. You got the sky and all the galaxies. Here's the little fountain. So, yeah. You pull this lever. And as soon as you do that, do it. It like starts snowing and gets foggy. And once you go through there, you can't go back because the door is going to close. But 
and go out here, then you just gotta wait. Because if you try to run around in the fog, you're gonna fall in the water and you're gonna die. So <clears throat> it's best to just wait. And I really pulled that lever a long time too. I should not have done that. You can actually pull it up a little bit and jump through. And then you won't have to wait so long. But I was not thinking about that and I just pulled it all the way. See, and here's water right here. You gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, come on. And you can't jump back over there. Not from this way. Oh, well. Actually, you can. What do you know? Where am I? Okay. There we go. Just waiting for the door to go back down because then it'll clear up. And you can actually see where you need to go. Alright, come on. <laughs> you can jump around like this. Because it'll be red in the water, but... Well, it's supposed to be red in the water. A red circle. Which tells you you can't jump there, but... Water don't act too great in this game. You can actually... It'll say you can't teleport, and you will teleport into the water. And then die. Alright. So, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but off in the distance... There's these little orbs you can collect, of, these orbs of light. And there are four orbs scattered all around this map. So you can get exactly one harvest finger and exactly one life. So if you're ever in that situation where you've used up all your lives, you can come here. And these little roots, because they're glowing like that, means the light will come back. All you gotta do is leave the area and come back. So you can go back down. Ooh, almost fell off. Um, that's all you gotta do is just go back through that weird wall. Which basically reloads the area and the light comes back. So there's one right there. One was off over there. One over there. I'm not going to go through the point of collecting them right now. I will collect this one though. Because it is nearby. Then you basically just loop around, come back over here. You got your one harvest fin finger once you've collected the four lights. Go here, put it in here. You got one more life back. Then you come down here, you can collect those if you're able to. I think this is where I gotta go back this way. This basically reloads the area and resets it back so you can go right back through, go back there, collect four more light for one more finger and you can just do it over and over. You could theoretically, you know, well not theoretically, you could actually get all 25 lives back if you wanted to do it that way. And then, of course, there's light here you can collect. These will not replenish. As you can tell, the, lo the roots are not glowing. But yeah, the game does give you quite a bit of options to recover life. Because it knows that... The developer knows it's quite brutal of a game. And it's a lot to figure out without any instructions. So once you've got your life back, you can then come back to this. And then go back on your merry way. Mm. 
All right. Let's go try this ritual again. Every, every time you die and reset, it actually changes the numbers in the ritual. So, we're going to try this again. Because I swear, that one of those numbers was wrong. It was like glitched out, wasn't showing right. It was like a 7 or an 8. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And be sure to go through those doors to the right. If you go to the left, you'll automatically die. Okay, this is an 8. Five, six, seven, eight. So and there's your light from when you died. Okay, I'm not seeing the number over here. Okay. So let's search this way. Ooh. And you gotta be careful because you will loop around like that. Where's this other number at? Where's it at? What? Okay. Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. Alright. Wow. Got a little close to me, dude. A little close. Six feet. Six feet. Well, this is not good. This is really not good. Oh, where is this number? Why can't I find this number? Oh my god. Well, this is not good for me at all. Surely it's not zero. I've never had a zero in this game. Like, I've never had a zero. Surely it can't be. Okay. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen it. I've never, okay, seven. There it was, seven. Or it could be an 8. It might be glitched out. I've just never seen it glitch like that. Well, it's glitched part of the number. Okay. And there's 7. There we go, it worked. Oh, okay. Now it opened up this door. There's plenty of light. Okay, let's get your butt on here. Ooh, that was close. That was a lot closer than I was wanting. Ooh, okay. All right. <sighs> so back where I was, where I saved in this castle, 
Uh, there was that blue door, that blue light that I let down, which was a shortcut. Um, it basically took you to an elevator, and it brought you to this door. So you're basically shortcutting that whole sequence I just did with that red cloak. Um, but yeah, that's the thing about this game is there's plenty of little shortcuts, different ways to go about it. If you can't seem to be get a ritual, you can get around it usually. Unless it's a major ritual for like an upgrade or a harvest finger. And you know, some of them you can cheese, some you can't. But these little mini ones, you can usually try to get around them. Ooh, see how fast he is? Much faster than the red. But you are still faster, so... Just keep moving and you'll be good. Oh shit. Oh shit. I messed up. I messed up. Oh no no no. Oh I messed up. There was a lever I was supposed to open before I was before I went to activate him. There was a lever over this way. I I'm gonna die. There's no way around it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I should have gone and done that lever first before activating him. But I completely forgot about that. Oh, I'm blown through my lives pretty quickly. Uh. It's alright, there, there is plenty of light. I know the first time I played this, I was extremely stressed about losing all these lives. Uh, but you learn that there is an abundant, literally a very abundant amount of light. So the whole permadeath system really isn't that stressful. But at least it does give me a chance to show you the shortcut. Okay, go here. Oop, let's open this. See, and it just takes you back out here. Alright. And it's best to not stand on the edge of the elevator because sometimes you will kind of glitch out um, and then hit a wall and die and I, I need to remember where to go Does this take me? Okay. We are back over here. I know you could probably walk over to that elevator, but that's usually never a good idea. Because you could possibly fall through. See? Now we're back. I mean, I opened up that path anyway, so I could still go through with that red cloak. He would just chase you to the elevator. Alright, let's gather up our light. This is where we died. Okay, that's open. I did manage to get it before he got me.
In this castle, it's really cool looking. I like how it's kind of old, but new looking. Or at least clean, you know? Because um, they could have, you know, thrown a bunch of skeletons and a bunch of guts and blood and viscera. I'm really glad they did it. I'm glad they kept it very bright, very white and shiny. Okay, you're still behind me. Can't cross the red sand. There we go. See ya, sucker. Okay. Go this way. This is the loop-de-loop -loop I think that I gotta open up for the next ritual. See, more riding. Okay, that's the elevator. Which just takes me down to no place in particular. Let's go back the other way. Let's walk this. Make sure we've got our circle set up. Oh, let's see. Here's the little description where it said, This is the message, more or less, from these witches. Which those look like sperm to me. You could have be done a better drawing than that, but it's supposed to be mushrooms, a black candle. A carn, a fire carn, and then like a skull. I think for the four items that were needed. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Make sure he does get down here because if you don't, he will turn around. The one thing I have to find a creepy are the noises that they make. Shit, I did not see any numbers. Okay, we got a nine and a three. Oh god, why am I having such a Ooh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, I saw a number, but I did not get to see what it was. And the numbers, they move around. They're not always in generally the same spot. So you've always got to look for them. Ten. 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 Okay. No numbers here, right? Ten. ten and a one. Okay. One and a ten. Okay. Ten is on the left. No, one is on the left. One is on the left, ten is on the right. Okay. So one ten, one ten, one ten, one ten. So ten, zero, one. Okay, that's a one. That's a three. Four, five. Okay. 
Come on, let's go. You're holding everything up. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Perfect. When it flashes like that, you're good. And you always want to make sure he comes all the way to the bottom of the hall. Because these little areas, he can actually loop back on you. And he'll get you. I probably should have looped him. Instead of coming up here, but I think I'll be fine. Yeah, perfect. Plenty of time. Perfect. Alright. Let's go down here because I think I have to open something up first before I go up here. Because this is a big ritual that you've got to do. And it can be a little bit difficult. Because up to this point we've only had one red cloak chasing us. Um... From now on, that next ritual, you're going to have two. A red cloak and a blue cloak. So I've really got to be on my game for that one. That's one. I want to open that up. Don't have to do it. I don't, I don't have to open it up, but I just prefer it. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I've opened up enough back areas. I want this though. And the noises are really creepy in this game. And just the music, it just has you on edge. And as you're going through this the very first time, It's definitely nerve-wracking, but I've explored these halls so many times that I pretty much know where the enemies are at. Whoops. So yeah, I mean, if you're liking the game, and you like this little playthrough, I recommend buying it. And then you come back and watch these videos once you've played through it. Oh. Ooh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, at least the numbers are right here. So I need a 9 and a 1. Ooh, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Need to prepare myself. Okay. Come on. Let's do the red first. Okay. I don't know what they're set to, so I can't do that right now. This is a two and an eight. Okay, a two and an eight. A two. A two and an eight. So there's a two over here and an eight. Okay, so let's work on this side first. The eight will actually is good for this side. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay, 
it's a five. Alright, so this is where the tricky part comes in. Okay, I've got a 9 there, I've got a 1. 1. Okay. Okay, I've got the 9. So long since I've had to do this ritual. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, no! Oh! I could not get the jump right. I screwed myself there. That was bad planning because I had the red cloak coming on the one side and the blue, blue on the other. But I was trying to juke the red. I should have. I should have done that differently. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Okay. You know, and another thing I think that's throwing me off is I'm actually used to the longer dash. And this short dash throws me off. Because if I had the long dash, I could have made that easily. But yeah, I think one thing that I really enjoyed about this game is just it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Because I, I think I talked about it in the last video um, where when I came across this game, I'd never heard of, it, heard of it before. And not a single person, not a single gamer actually played a walkthrough of this. It was just little simple half hour to an hour playthroughs where they did a little review but they never actually completed it. And I remember getting a game really cheap. It was like Mother's Day, so it was like half off. God damn it, of course the numbers are not here. They're on the other side. And then I had some like credits. So I only got the game for like six, seven bucks, I think. It was like $20 on the shop, but with the 50% off and then the credits, it was only like, I think, six, seven dollars. And I've spent so many hours, there's an eight, that it was really worth the money. And of course the graphics I just loved. And it's a two and I needed eight. Okay. Three, four, five. This is an eight. 
Okay, come up here, please. This one is down here somewhere. I can't tell what that is. I think it was a seven. Ooh, okay. Come over here, please. So it's a six. Ooh, goddamn. Okay. Seven, eight. I think that's an eight. I did not get the two. I did not get it. Ooh. Where's the red one at? I've lost track of the red one. He's gonna come around my ass. He's gonna come around the corner and get my ass. I think that's three. I did it. Holy hell. Yeah, sometimes you get really bad with the RNG and the numbers. Because, like, I've had them where one of the numbers has been correct and the other one hasn't. And then I've had other times where they're just really close so you don't have to do a whole lot of changes. See, and they'll chill out because they have no way to get to it. But then there are other times like that one, having a three and a six like that on the blue side, that can be quite devastating when the numbers are that far apart. And then the fact that it hid the number back behind the blue blue one, oh. I would have to say the numbers could have been better generated. I mean, the first time, the first time they generated, it was actually really good select number um, blue, blue blue and then there's a gray right there let's just squeeze around now we've got the triangle piece Now we go back. This opens up a little light area. But don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Oh, got a save. Finally. Ooh. All right. So now we've left the castle. And, uh...
Well, we're still in the castle. We're just in the rainy part. Because the sunny portion was down below in this top half, it's rainy. I actually love this rainy area. And then you have this little area. There's a blue cloak in there, and I think there's another cloak on this side, but you need two harvest fingers. All it is is light. That's it. That's all that's in there. And there's a lot of it. So you can actually juke these cloaks. And I'll show you right now. So he can't get to me right here. Because of this red sand. So if I just stand still, they will chill out. He's chill. He's all nice and chill. So now I can go in here. Come here. Let's go around over here. And he will come over here. Hello? Uh oh. Usually they come over there. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Usually, as long as you're moving, they will uh, come down to that side. I don't know why it's not doing it now. I wonder if this game had an update that fixed that little exploit. Because as long as you kept moving, he would come down to the other side and you could stack them all on top of each other and then you could go in that room and explore freely and for some reason it's not doing it i don't know why hmm okay this is a shortcut you can open up later This one. Oh my gosh. See, can y'all see it? I was wondering, do y'all see it? It's an invisible enemy. Yeah, I did not see that the first time I played this game, and I ran into it twice. Literally twice I ran into that enemy. And I just could not figure out what kept killing me. I thought it was like a glitch in the game. And then finally the third time I saw it and I was like, oh, that's sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. And then this one, I died like four times on this bridge. Four or five times. Because I kept trying to spin around and there's no railing to keep you on it. I kept trying to activate him and then spin and then come back here and I kept falling off the bridge and dying and then this one is not on the bridge it's actually just inside so you can't see it so I actually died once because I didn't even know he was there then the second time I died I tried to jump past him and he's too he's right there in the entry door so you can't jump past him so that was two deaths and then I kept trying to spin around on this dang bridge and kept falling off. So I lost seven or eight lives, I think. Just right here in this one spot. That was so stressful. And of course, you can't get to him. I mean, he can't get to you with that red sand, so. We're good. That opens up. And then we are going to go back here. Ooh. And open up a shortcut. But there is a guy right there. Got to be careful with. You'll see him more on the way back. Because on the way back, you actually activate him. Seeing more of the story.
Perfect. Now you, come here. This is bothering me. I don't know why you're chilling out like that. They must have fixed that. That's the only thing I can think of. Because they used to not chill out that quickly. It used to take them a while to chill out. But now... Come here. Yeah, they are chilling out remarkably quickly. That, that has to be some kind of uh, patch. Because usually they would freak out a bit longer. And you can move them around and basically move them where you want to. Don't know if that's going to hinder me later on. Okay, so this one, if you got the long jump. You can actually get by him. Go with the short jump. Shit. Okay, we made it. That can be iffy with that short jump. Alright. More of the story for you. Yep. And you need the long junk jump to get over this way. And there's a harvest finger. Yeah, I should probably go back and read the lore before I play some more of this game. So I can at least get y'all some of the story. In case y'all haven't gone. So this is the rain bridge, the area we were just at. And then this is the next area, which is like the desert. The plains. This is the area I'm dreading. This next part will probably be like an entire video of just doing this ritual. See, isn't that cool? See, and you have the sky coming down and meeting that bridge of rocks. And then you have this, like, plains. So we were just in the castle, it's raining, and now you're in this dry desert. So let's follow the footprints. There are hidden enemies all over the place. But they are not on the footprints. Where is... Oh, the fire corn's over there. Okay, I could not go directly here because there is an enemy there. So if we go out this way, I think I will be safe. Okay, perfect. Alright, so there's a blue lever over there that you turn on to get rain so you can see the enemies. And then we can do one of those fire rituals again, and it's such, such a pain in the butt. Because when it starts raining, you can't see. So it's easy to get lost, and you have these enemies chasing you. I, I hate this ritual. This is what has kept me from replaying this game, is this whole ritual. But yeah, I will do that next time. It'll probably be a whole video. So thanks for joining me on this one, and I will see you next time.